A typical large enterprise gets attacked thousands of times a day. So we definitely see a massive increase in terms of technologies to secure an environment. What we've seen is really for probably the last 30 years, there's been an enormous focus on the firewall as being the primary way to protect companies. Now firewalls are still important, but the world is shifting. It's no longer in a single physical appliance anymore. It's shifting to many, many different places. Everything starts with, can you trust a user? Can you trust their device? Everybody has to prove themselves trustworthy. So as we think about the kinds of attacks that go on today, the vast majority is stolen credentials. There's absolutely no question. Uh, people generally have bad passwords, easily guessable passwords. In a banking environment, you may have an attacker that puts up a fake banking site. There'll be an email that will come in pretending to be from that banking site, but it isn't. They'll click on a link, that link will go to the fake banking site, and they'll immediately put in their credentials, of course, because they think they're logging into their own bank. What happens, of course, in the background is that's a fish. The attacker has now collected the user ID and the password, and then can turn around and steal money from that consumer's account and possibly do other damage because that user and ID and password may be used elsewhere. Really the best way to address this is with what's called multi-factor authentication. What it does is it builds on top of the existing user ID and password. So that's still there, but we add an additional level with multi-factor by having a very secure connection from the cloud security service to the device that we're providing that second factor. This really strengthens this notion of user trust and it makes it possible for people to have secure transactions and makes it much less likely that their credentials will be abused or stolen. When an organization adds multi-factor authentication, we've seen well over a 90% drop in terms of attacks that are attempted on that organization because so many are based on stealing passwords. If you eliminate that vulnerability, there's a dramatic drop in exposure. The trend of proving identity and proving trustworthiness continues to shift to be more and more behavioral. Analytics, machine learning is getting better and better at determining trustworthy behavior from untrustworthy behavior. And I think in 20 years, there'll be very extensive progress in terms of just watching you. Now you could argue that maybe is a little bit big brotherish and has some challenges there, but it's definitely those are the trends. Mm -hmm.